good morning and welcome to another video by Reich uh, UK. Right, let's get this video started and finish it off really quickly. Uh, a couple of months ago, uh, the council introduced um, a support scheme. Um, and basically that was to help uh, taxi drivers who have been severely impacted during this pandemic. And I don't want to go into too much on um, details on that. Uh, but the category um, we fall under was additional restriction grants uh, to support businesses. And if you were to follow the actual diagram uh, down right at the bottom of the page, um, it says taxi drivers. And so that's how we became eligible for that grant. Now, every council has a different amount that we're giving out uh, of, of from what I've seen, some are from £500 and some are going up to £7,500, I think it was. So there was some good amount to be picked up by drivers. And it's quite an easy process as well uh, to apply for the grant. I don't think you needed to do much. You know, I've even done a video, <laughs> so it wasn't too, too hard at all. Well, and you think this is it, you know, this is quite good, but it's not. And this is what I want to talk to you about. Because they d decided, the councils, to throw a spanner into the works. Now, this spanner affected a lot of, lot of drivers. More drivers in, other, you know, in certain cities than you know, other cities. Uh, if you look at Wolverhampton uh, Council, which basically owns the whole private hire drivers industry. Um, you know, they've been affected really bad. Now... This is what the council are saying, and it's quite straightforward. I mean, it's nothing tricky here. They're saying you, you are only eligible for the grant. By the way, this is every council. If you hold a license, meaning your badge, and you also live, which is reside, or your registered address is within the council. Okay, so you got to live there and you got to have the badge there. So you live in Wolverhampton and you got a badge, Wolverhampton badge. And you'd be eligible for, I think Wolverhampton is about £2,000. And, and it's a simple process. You know, that, that is what they are saying. Now, firstly, I'm not, I mean, I don't know the numbers. Yeah, certain cities will vary from other cities as well. Um, you know, to how much how many drivers live in that city and uh, apply for the badge for that city and live somewhere else I mean I do not have the numbers for that but we you know we could estimate that could be running into I don't know tens of thousands who are just instantly excluded just by them saying that now drivers have expressed themselves you know they have let the feelings out uh, they have emailed the local council uh, they've used the social media form they've contacted the local mps you know they got them to gather and get involved as well um active union adcu you know they paid a played a very um active role in formatting the actual emails um to send to these people so drivers on the whole have actually done a lot, you know, and obviously other drivers who were impacted probably, you know, they haven't done nothing, you know, we, you know, there's a lot of freeloaders in our community and, you know, who basically wants everything, but they don't want to do nothing for it. So where did it all go wrong? Why are councils discriminating? It is a discriminating drivers who are registered with them, right? And they're paid all the necessary fees. And when it comes to an emergency payout, they are excluded. Now, the council's reply has been that they're saying that central government has awarded this grant and told them how to distribute it 
And you know something, I don't think that's true actually. I don't think they'll say specifically how to distribute all that, you know, down to a T where the driver has to be living here. But look, let's just presume that is correct. And but what I want to what I want to focus on is why haven't the council stood up for these drivers and said no to the central government and saying, look, we think you got this wrong. Your distribution of cash is basically distributed incorrectly. Local council, we pay fees to, needs to stand up or behalf of us to the actual central government. And this is what it is. It all comes down to the council letting us down. And I'm surprised you know, it was only two criteria because they'll do anything to not pay out. You know, they come out with, um, obviously you have to live there, hold the badge, um, hold the badge there. I'm surprised they didn't say you also have to have a black and white cat just to make it a bit more harder. Look, I understand that this grant falls under the business grants and that should be more for our favor. You know, I'm sure there's a large, a large percentage of businesses within that specific city that are probably owned by owners who live outside. So why are they being paid? Yeah, by the way, I'm not arguing about who or should be paid or not. I'm portraying just a similarization of why drivers are treated different. It's more or less the same thing. You know, we have seen in the budget and everything that there has been an enormous support for businesses by the government. They have done a lot, bend over backs to support small businesses and big businesses. And I feel that, you know, this minute sector, which is all, they're all praising everything, how good we are and all that sort of thing, you know, is basically just been kicked to one side and you know and what can you do anyway i'll finish off now